Welcome to the Political Fairy Show. New updates come every Wednesday and Sunday, and this is a reply to one important comment. The question was Is the Horseshoe Theory compatible with the Political Compass? And to answer that, I have to go three steps back. And the very first step is where all our ideas of the spectrum comes from and it comes from an idea of good and bad. This is something that our parents normally tell us and later on our teachers and so on. They say that there is a good behavior and a bad behavior. So you have this understanding of there is a good behavior and good people do good things and good people are part of the good things and then there are bad people. The thing is, it, this works in your childhood, but when you grow up a little bit, you understand that there is a gray area, there is something in between good and bad, and if you accept that there is something in between, there is more or less a spectrum. Whatever this is, if this is the believer against the unbeliever, left against right, royalist against the nationalists, whatever it is, you understand that there is more than just two points in this spectrum. So let's talk about left and right because this is all uh, what we talk about and whatever people tell about that they always talk about good and bad. It depends if you stand on the right or on the left what good and bad means but normally for the right winger the lefties are the bad ones and vice versa. So most people are absolutely cool with that. They say, okay, there is a spectrum, there are some people who are a little bit closer to me and a little bit far away from me, but this is good enough, it is essentially this good and bad spectrum. I would say about 80% of the people love this spectrum and this is absolutely enough for them. For those who don't think this is enough, the whole shoe comes into play. When you say, okay, but these hardcore lefties and these hardcore righties, they are closer to each other than the people who are in the center. And at this point you understand that this good and bad doesn't work anymore. And then you think about something like a triangle. Okay, there is a left, and there is a right, and there is a center, and they are all poles for itself. So in the next step you say perhaps it is more complicated than that. Perhaps it is not just a two system or a three system, because perhaps it is something else and you start to think about axes and you say okay let's talk about the axe well on the one extreme there is all owned by the state and on the other extreme there is all owned privately and then you have another axe where on the one extreme every everything is individualist and on the other hand there is everything that is collectivist and then you have your quarters and you can point it in and you have your political compass so in the next step you say okay wait a minute we went there and got good results what about we take another axis there and make from our square now a cube and say okay we can move within this cube and in the next step you can say okay we have now a cube we can go to the hypercube we have four dimensions now so the problem is most of the people have a very hard time to understand the hypercube i am one of them so what you have to do then is you take the axis out of the system and say okay we have here four axes and all the four axes you can be on three of them far on the so-called left and in one of them on the far right you can be balanced, you can be whatever. In this case we talk about the eight values test, but you can go on, you can go on, you can take uh, another axe and another axe, you can do it with 20 axes, or you go a complete different direction like the political sextant and say, okay, there are some clusters of ideas that are close together and you just view where you fit in. What are the three closest ideologies that you fit in? Whatever you do, you can always define closer what you are talking about. So the thing is, again, to summarize that, we all start with an idea of good and bad and then we add a gray area to that. And in the next step, we complicate it even more and say, okay, there is more, this is not a two polar thingy. But all of this are just ideas, are just ideas we try to communicate and we try to, to talk about that. But the mainstream normally talks about good and bad. Whatever they use, when you try to, to talk with one of these 80% mainstream people and you say, you tell them uh, this is the political compass, they will ask in some way or another where are the good guys, where are the bad guys. This is what is important for them. You have and you can bring them over more or less 
buy ideas like the horseshoe series, the horseshoe illustration. The horseshoe illustration is half a step. It is not one step. It is not an illustration that helps itself. It helps you to jump from this idea of a spectrum to an idea of a two-dimensional spectrum. If you make this step, and all pretty much all the people who can do this step from going a left and right spectrum to the political compass, they can go beyond and they will go beyond in one way or another. But again, most people are pretty cool with good and bad, and it is quite hard to bring them into that. In that far, the whole shoe theory or the whole shoe illustration has a sense in the regards of you can take this thing that they understand, this one-dimensional good and bad spectrum, bend it and say, but the leftists, the hardcore leftists and the hardcore rightists, they are closer to each other than the people in the center, so there is more. Let's try it with a two-dimensional picture and then you can bring them to the real step. And the real step is from the one-dimensional spectrum to the two-dimensional spectrum. In a sense, the uh, whole show theory is just a one and a half dimensional spectrum and it doesn't work in that way. In so far, the argument that the whole show theory is not really a good illustration is absolutely valid. It is a help to help people from the one dimensional to the two dimensional. And if they are again on the two dimensional plane, you can move them beyond and beyond and they will go beyond. But you have to bring them and you have to break them out of this good and bad idea. So. Thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe, tell me what you think about it and have a wonderful day.